Hey, this is Dragonfly Hiker from Halifax, Nova Scotia, and you're watching Tip of the Week with Intense Angler. Have fun. Hey there guys, John here. You know, with only a few weeks of winter left and backpacking season not too far around the corner, I know that a lot of us are taking a good look at our gear and equipment in anticipation of the upcoming season. You know, just kind of fine tuning and tweaking things a little bit and just kind of getting ready. Now, one of the things that a lot of us focus on uh, when we're changing up our gear or just kind of evolving it, I guess, is weight. You know, weight reduction is always critical. And that is actually going to be the focus of this video today. Uh, nothing really new or groundbreaking here. We're actually just going to be covering some fundamentals. And the fundamentals that I wanted to talk about today was the big three. Now, the big three, of course, is your sleeping bag, your tent, and your pack itself. In those three areas, you have the most potential for weight savings. Now, of course, you can save weight in a multitude of ways. Everything from switching up your old butane stove to a lightweight alcohol stove version to even drilling holes in the handle of your toothbrush. You know, there, there's just no shortage of ways to reduce weight. But by focusing on the big three, you can definitely reduce the majority of the weight by far. Now, let's take a look at how to do this. First, we'll take a look at the sleeping bag. Now, what we have here is I guess kind of a mid-range sleeping bag. Uh, it's a synthetic bag and weighing in about three pounds is I guess it, maybe on the lighter side for a typical backpacker you know maybe three four five pounds is, is kind of in that standard range and this is a nice medium for something like that you know something that uh, you could consider a lightweight bag. Now trying to reduce weight when we have a bag that's coming in about three pounds uh, you're going to need to either step up in price and we're talking going with a really high quality down bag or you're gonna have to get in to do it yourself and that's the approach that I like to take you know I like to save money I like to get out and enjoy and I don't like to spend a whole lot of cash in doing so sleeping bag is no different what I've done is just made my own homemade down sleeping bag and this thing comes in it's a little bit over a pound and great option now you can buy bags like this as well you know you're gonna get a much better quality than uh, you know something like this that you throw at home but uh, with either route you're gonna get something that's gonna reduce weight and uh, volume you're gonna reduce the volume inside your pack and you know just a great option so right there you're saving a you know two three pounds easy right there next we'll look at the tent now another thing here that is I guess you would consider mid-range uh, a fairly typical example of a backpacking tent would be, you know, a two-person tent uh, with all the bells and whistles, you know, the fiberglass poles, the rain fly, kind of a three to four season tent. You're looking at four, five, six pounds, you know, on these tents. A tent like this is a good mid-range option. Now, this is uh, considered a lightweight tent. Coming from the factory, it weighs in at about three and a half pounds. That's not too bad, you know, uh, considering the price and uh, the tent. I think this tent itself... Uh, came in at about $25. So really nice balance there. Now one thing I wanted to talk about, and it's not only with the tent, but the tent is actually a good example of this. Uh, in the quest to reduce gear, you not, in, reduce weight rather, you not only, um, you know, I guess need to buy new things, but you can kind of modify them or adjust them to suit your needs from the factory. You don't just have to accept, uh, you know, something right out of the box. In fact, I always, when I get a new piece of gear, like to take a good, solid look at things and just see how I can kind of tweak it to fit my needs a little bit better. And it's no different with the tent here. Like I said, from the factory, this tent weighed in at about three and a half pounds. Simply by leaving the big heavy duty pole that came with it and the stuff sack that came with it at home, I saved a pound on this. And just simply made my own stuff sack. So with a purchased product, you know, I shaved a pound off that. So you're looking at a two person backpacking tent that's coming in at about two and a half pounds now. Nothing to sneeze out there. 
Of course, there are ways to reduce that uh, even further for shelter. And that's where you start getting into things like tarps. Now, tarps are a great option. You can set it up in a multitude of configurations. Uh, you get basically the same thing that you get from a tent, you know. Um, it just comes with experience and uh, some tailoring. And so, weight, you're talking uh, something like this, you know, 10 ounces, maybe up to a pound, uh, with all your guy lines, your stakes, everything. And, uh, you know, once again, in comparison, when you're talking about a four or five pound typical backpacking tent and comparing that to a sub one pound tent, you're saving another, you know, three, four, five pounds right there just on this one item. Moving on to the last item, which is of course the backpack, which forms the foundation of your entire system. Uh, you know, a lot of us go with these uh, bigger style packs, you know, heavy, heavy duty material, um, you know, your, all your gear rides in here, you need to kind of depend on your pack. And, you know, this is not the biggest pack on the market, nor the most expensive. But as you can see, you know, it's kind of got a lot of the, the bells and whistles, the big, nice uh, straps, all the attachment points, uh, big padded hip belts, you know, heavy duty buckles, just, you know, the whole range there. And of course, all of that adds up to weight. It is not uncommon to have a pack itself that weighs four, five, six pounds just in the pack with no gear. Now, that's fairly heavy, especially when it's the foundation of your system. Now, one thing you can do, and once again, using kind of the do-it-yourself approach, is, um, you know, make a bag. And what I've done here is something very similar. And uh, just out of ripstop nylon, put together a bag that is fully functional and serves my needs. The best part is it weighs five ounces. So I'm eliminating virtually all the weight of the pack. I mean, if I have a five pound pack down to five ounces, I just cut out that entire weight of that pack. So super weight savings there. Now you can buy uh, packs similar to this as well. Uh, you're probably gonna be going a little bit, you know, maybe up to a pound or so, but they're out there to be had. And with the pack being the foundation of your system, it's a really good starting point to look at. Now, the other thing that I wanted to mention here, and a great weight saver as well, some, something that's sometimes overlooked. When you're going with a bigger pack, something that is three, four, five thousand cubic inches, you're gonna have a tendency to wanna fill that pack, okay? One of the reasons that I made this pack myself, uh, or one of the things rather that I took into account was not only weight of the pack itself, but the volume of the pack. I knew that the smaller I made this pack, the more intensely I was gonna have to look at the gear that was gonna go into that pack. I knew that it was gonna be limited, and I knew it would force me to think over every item very thoroughly to make sure what I wanted to carry, the weights behind it, and uh, the size, you know, whether it was necessity or not. And you know, whether you decide to go that route or not, uh, it's just a tip that I found very handy and has worked extremely well for me in reducing weights. And uh, like I said, that is by reducing the volume of the pack itself. Well, there you go guys. Just kind of a look at a foundational approach to uh, stepping down in weights when you're looking at your backpacking gear. Uh, like I said, nothing groundbreaking here, just kind of tried and true method. Uh, taking a look at the big three, your sleeping bag, your tent, and your backpack can really help you reduce weight in the long run. Before we go here, I do want to take just a second to thank my friend Dragonfly Hiker for taking the time to put together this week's intro for Tip of the Week. Really appreciate that, my friend. You are just blessed with some amazingly beautiful country over there in Nova Scotia. I enjoy watching your videos and seeing you explore and adventure over there. Just, just amazing. I have included a link up here that'll take you over to Dragonfly Hiker's channel. He's got a very diverse selection of videos that I think you'll really enjoy. I also want to say thanks to you guys for watching and for your continued support and encouragement and positive feedback. It is vastly appreciated as it always is. Um, just really don't know what else to say guys. I really appreciate it and I thank you for everything. And until next time, we'll be seeing you around.